Welcome to part 12 of Skies of Arcadia. If you remember last time we beat up a giant, giant green guy, I guess? It's kind of weird. I didn't, it's not really human, but kind of a gorilla. Anyway, um, now that we broke through this fence here, we're going to be heading to Valua. But first, let's fight something because it's been a while. The crew's all back together. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> it's a it's a plant. It flies and it spits pollen at you. Like springs in Texas. <laughs> oh, you know. It looks like the demon hell spawn of a of a Venus flytrap and a spider. Just wait till it uses its long distance move. The, the closest is one just makes me laugh. It's like, how could it hurt? Sort of laugh. But I'm just fighting kind of the remainder of these green enemies. The problem with green enemies is they always have call ally, which means they just call more enemies to fight. So I just do this instead and murder shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, the plant dude has a lot of HP. Fina, you can hit someone this time, it's okay. Wow, she's actually doing damage. She can do a decent amount of damage. I mean, big thing is, um, once Cubal gets fully leveled up, he's like one of the strongest weapons in the game. But until then... Yeah, until then, he's a little puss. He's a cute little puss that loves to dance around your head, but... And of course, that's matching like, Let's get this over with! Now, the area we're going to be going through has a lot of discoveries that you can miss. I'm going to show you one of the ones that's really hard. Like, it's usually pretty hard to find if you don't know where to look. Also, there's a lot of moonfish. And just normal fish. Skyfish. Skyfish. So if you notice, like, there's a ranking where it says CBA. Like, di there's different rarities of fish, and depending on how rare they are, they'll sell for more. There's one discovery, Will-O-Wisp. That one's not too hard to find. The souls of the damned. Yep. <laughs> Lost forever in the skies of the air. See, they gave you notice there's some different kind of fish there, so if you get... If I would have gotten the, the uh, orange one, it would have been a uh, rank B. You also notice closer we're getting to Valua, the darker it's getting, because it's super stormy over there. Valua is the lightning place, isn't it? Yep, it's the capital that... Uh, the evil capital with all their lightning. Yeah, I gotcha. There's a power metaphor there. Yep. Oh my god, there's two of them now. I know I'm showing this one for a reason, I just don't remember why. <laughs> there's an intent behind everything, you see. Well, this is the most recent recording you've sent us. Yep. So you'd think I'd remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, fine. Later. I love those ones that just show up to run away. I do cut out this one fight that's like a deleted scene sort of thing where I fight like eight loopers at once. Is ridiculous. Do they actually fight is the question. Some of them do. A lot of them ran away. This is its more annoying attack. Sleepy powder. Oh, I remember why I showed this one. You'll see in a minute. Now, if you're really unlucky, all your characters can get hit by status elements, but that's pretty rare. <laughs> this is the stupidest one to poke. I got nothing here, sorry. <laughs> Even the plant just shrugs. Like, mm. So I'm gonna use one of her new uh, moon abilities. It is super useful. Because she does actually have some pretty good ones. Oh my god, the icon's a cubal. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Of course it is, it's the cutest thing ever. So a lot of her special abilities are kind of determined on buffs and healing. So this one removes stats ailments of every character. So it gets rid of their sleepiness on both of them. It's really quick, it only takes six. So Fina's good. She just doesn't hit a lot. <laughs> Poke. <laughs> that doesn't even hurt. I know. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this is stupid. It doesn't hurt, it just itches. I can imagine just poking by. It's like, you're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm sorry I hurt you. I like <laughs> I like how it's a kind of an exhausted plant. So that's really weird. <laughs> Might as well murder him with swords. As opposed to robot arm. Club fists. <laughs> they should call that arm the pinchy. The crab. <laughs> the crab. The claw. See, here's the silly part about this particular fight. 
Move two inches, hit a cinematic. Oh, <laughs> damn it. If you remember last time we mentioned a bounty about a pirate named Gordo. This is Gordo. Not the ship, but you'll see Gordo. I like his style. <laughs> oh, you'll say that, but then you'll look at him and be like, eh. Yum, all this painted food. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I like this uncooked fish. Blah, blah, blah. Man like sushi. See, his whole thing is he... Oh, he didn't even have anything on his fork that time. <laughs> I managed to get the fat away from my eye for just a moment. But his whole thing is he robs merchant ships, and the only thing he steals is food. I was trying to stab that fish. Hit missing. What in God's name would this guy think this ship has food on it? <laughs> I mean, it's worth a shot. There's like no ships. There shouldn't be any ships around here, so... It's like, what's this, bag of potato chips? Sink it. <laughs> Sir, that, that's... Oh, fine. <laughs> the cannons cost more than a potato chip. It's like, no, no, sink it. <laughs> See, this guy, he, since he doesn't want to destroy any of the food, he wants to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat style. We're about to fight a giant dude whose whole style is food. <laughs> and there's a lot of that to kick. <laughs> That's my foot. <laughs> I'm being absorbed. See, he brings three of his little chef pirate dudes who love to dance. Oh my god. This is the dumbest thing. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. This fight, you don't have to necessarily do the same strategy as we always do because the uh, it's not that hard of a fight. The henchmen are not really that strong. They don't have that much health. You do want to kill them as quickly as possible, and Gordo has some pretty heavy hits, but... We've fought harder things. Like a giant non-torso robot. And uh in a yeah, and the gur four-headed gur thing, uh, whatever that was. Dude, we just took on two giant robots and you wanna fight us? Come on. <laughs> he would have probably had a better shot if he just stayed in the ship. But he didn't want to burn our food up, which we have none. <laughs> if you notice, I'm not really focusing any on the uh, the fat dude. I'm gonna save him for last. I'm gonna use a glyph of speed, which is just like a glyph of might, but it gives you all your characters a uh, boost in speed or a quicker. Problem with these guys, they cast some pretty strong fire spells because they cook with fire. <laughs> it's a food theme, if you didn't get that. <laughs> I swear to God, if this dude has an Iron Chef skill, it's... I'm gone. <laughs> it's... He has a move just called Digest. Rereads a magazine. And he's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's a rule of thumb with this game. If someone does an attack and it seems like nothing happened, it's only because their next attack is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. He's going to vomit on us, isn't he? Well, it, it, it... No. Okay, good. I'm lying, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort you're kinda right. <laughs> Trying to decide for what you to do here, I'm just like mm. Oh good, I'm gonna have her do something good. So is the ball and mace hand obsolete at this point? Because I noticed you haven't used it in a while. Well I used it for the bird boss, but it's the attack difference between this arm and the other one's actually pretty minimal. Oh, okay. And also, half the time I forget to throw it off. <laughs> so. That's the main answer. Yeah. No, no, it's intention. <laughs> so you see these guys, it takes two good hits to take them out, or one big tackle. <laughs> or just stare at him to death. <laughs> <laughs> With the one eye. So this is Loqua Spray. He doesn't vomit, he blows fire. Oh, that's makes perfect wow <laughs> lava apparently it makes perfect never mind <laughs> 200 proof and my ship is fine and that was his best attack ladies and gentlemen he's more of an annoyance at least he put his best foot forward give him a hand everybody <laughs> eh. <laughs> <laughs> he vomited like a champ 
<laughs> Just hand him a dummy hand. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> See, he's pretty much by himself now, so he's screwed. You want to take out the minions as well, because the minions know how to heal the boss. <laughs> he's done for already. He's giving up. My, and you know, you know me, and might as well be overkill. I might be top health. And these bastards just always cast Pyrus, which is super annoying. At least it's not Pyrum. Boss, I really need to go. <laughs> Why do you do this? This is what it's like to punch a giant pirate, dude. I love how he wears this tiny little shirt. Like, at one point, he wasn't a hungry pirate. Yes, you are. <laughs> what am I doing? I made a horrible decision. Like, somehow that attack was different than the other one, but... I love his tired stance, too. It's kind of the Mortal Kombat finish him pose. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. So then, of course, we're beating up the nerd. That was pretty cool. Ah, finally I went. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this guy's screwed. I would say this is more of a story relevant for us, I guess. You know, they didn't make them difficult, but I think that's the point. To make you too confident. Yes. This would have made sense if he appeared after the dude got his whale. Yeah. And he ate the whale. And then Druck was just like, you're dead. Uh, uh, shit. <laughs> He gives us a bunch of spiked fish, so we steal his food to make it even. So after throwing two of his friends overboard. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> so he seems more impressed at this point. Now he's our fan. They've advised me against the other name. <sighs> You drive the little pink? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the man who punched me with an explosion. You've been here before? <laughs> Tasted delish. So he mentions plot. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's in a good mood either. This is like the most emotion we've seen from him. Oh yeah. You say seen. <laughs> I mean, punching a sail to near breaking is emotion. <laughs> she punched it, snapped in half, and just still landed on Vice. Got him this time again. <laughs> <laughs> Never miss a beat. He's not in a good mood right now. We, we kind of hit him on a weak pointer. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Perfect reaction to intimidation. Harumph. Wish we looked up in the sky, it was like a sparkling image of like a Bashon in Rockham. <laughs> <laughs> Senpai noticed me, and I regretted it immediately. Now I must hunt him down. I must hunt down Senpai. The hot new video game coming this summer. <laughs> so here's one of the harder ones to find. If you go to this corner right here, it's very quick. Ah, oh, shit. Well, anyway, we gotta know we're here. Looks like Ica's ready to be smug. <laughs> so wait, we've discovered a new area. Does this mean we get to see Ica's overactive imagination? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Ow. What was the best part of the desert? Captain seems a little bit upset right now. Or he's not paying attention. Nope. Well, you threatened us when we found out you had a dead son, so I'm politely pretending it worked. Sorry, can't hear you. Only got the one eye. <laughs> but, but. All right, Captain. <laughs> Science. 
So right here, if you look, there's a lighthouse. <laughs> that lighthouse is a pain in the ass to find, but there it is. You just end up going to the first corner of Lua and mashing A. Has that little, like, gold ring motif then. What's, what's her name? Fina? Yeah, Fina. I'm, I'm going into this blind, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it had the same, like, motif as Fina. It's need a little touch. So the enemies around here, big surprise with the Yellowstone, have usually a lightning element, or sometimes silver element as their involvement. These guys are obnoxious. Not only do they call their allies all the time, but they can cast white spells like Attorney, which is murder spell. <laughs> so I just kill them immediately. <laughs> Not in my house. Please leave death at the door. We don't like that here. Just imagine just them brushing a hundred dead birds off their ship. Like, that doesn't look <laughs> bad at all. Well, no, okay. Is that Eka's like version of the Bishonen sparkle? Just a pretty camera explosion. <laughs> I wish there was a sparkle. We're looking for a seal right now because... Not, not like a not like the animal seal, but a Ow, seal on the ground. The singer. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss Roma, Roska, get back here. I'm glad you know one of Steel songs I don't. That's the only one I know. <laughs> Didn't even know that was a band. <laughs> <laughs> that got him. I think I killed him. <laughs> oh, hi, Wing. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I bring all of the no culture. Welcome. <laughs> So you talk to him, you get a little idea that this country's expanding way too fast. Kind of like Europe back in the day. We're looking for these ruins over here. These ruins note some interesting things. For one, it's all sealed up. It apparently contains the uh, yellow gigas and it's also full of a special kind of cham. You'll hear people going crazy. This is an area where you can farm an um, unlimited amount of a particular kind of cham, which you'll see here in a bit. I'm looking for him right now, that's why I'm running around. A couple of people have pointed out the champs are most likely related to moonstones. I think they're supposed to be bits of moonstone. I feel like they should be some kind of animal, though. Yeah. Nice. That's a rock. So, below this is the Maw of Tardis. This is an ancient door created to seal the yellow gigas. And I don't think we have the ship to be able to break through that shit. You nailed it, Ika. Or, or. <laughs> Kiss from the root. Oh. So we gotta go to a standard story battle again. <laughs> On top of the seal. Judging by the music, it won't be difficult. Oh no, these guys are not too bad. I could do your thing. I mean, come on, if you start with that many SP points, you might as well do it every turn. You'd think once they see the fire boomerangs, they're just like, well, we're out. <laughs> to see one of them just kind of go, well, and then turn around slowly and march away. <laughs> Luckily, these guys have a good amount of health, so I couldn't just wipe the floor with them immediately. They actually put up a pretty decent fight. They have grenades. I'm sorry? Oh. Nuclear explosions, I guess. <laughs> I heard grenades of like, oh shit, and then, oh. Well, if you're throwing a drachma where like he gets shot by a can, just be like, meh. <laughs> like the Pillsbury Dill Boy. <laughs> <laughs> if just standing there, like, I could be attacked too. Oh. Ika, don't die on me. They recognize the threat. <laughs> <laughs> no more of that shit. Moons, give me strength. I decided to try just doing the natural hit. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Attack me too. Is Drachma swatting them away like a fly? 
<laughs> that's always his swing. It's like, Mah, swap arm. And apparently he could fire his fist out, and that's about it. I saw that. That was the best. <laughs> it's one of those, you could have done this at any point in the story, but you didn't. Can you do that if you were using a different arm form? Yeah, but in Cinemax, he always has the standard arm. But if you notice, it's a, a drop on tax at a distance, he does shoot his arm out. But it looks like it has a little rope at the end of it. It doesn't just shoot out like a magnet. <laughs> oh. I just had this really funny image of Drachma shooting his arm missing. He's just like, damn it. <laughs> he flies off the island. I guess I still got the hook hand. That was easy. And again, more for story elements. So here comes the plot. I guess I worship you now. Hell yeah, you do. Isn't the whole point of this to not to make sure that the Titans don't get out? Why are we opening this? Because we're under the assumption that the yellow crystal is down there with them. Oh. Also, you're finding out the Valuans are not even trying to get in here. Because they're like, dude, we have the yellow crystal right here. We don't have to try. And we learn that they're preparing to raid Nazrad, the capital of Nasser, for some reason. So they're starting war for some reason. They're evil! They don't even tell us who to attack, we just end up doing it. And they just mentioned a giant arc whale. A giant arc whale! I will so fire my fist at you! <laughs> Color me interested. So we found out that Rockham is around here somewhere. And you'll notice the conversation goes a little bit different this time, because Rockham's like, please help me with this. I've been helping you. It's too hard. <laughs> Everybody does the expression. Help me and I won't punch you. Immediately. <laughs> you'll punch me out. Oh. He's gonna get rich or die trying, damn it. Well, let's go hunting for these mysterious special chams. Where are you, where are you, where are you, where are you, where are you? Aha! Point me the right way, you cute bastard. It's called a chom. Choms are different than chams. If you feed a chom to Cupel, he vomits up all of his chams. Huh. What? And you can grind for as many as you want here, so just keep on, you can keep on coming back and get as many as you want. There's something I didn't really mention with the Cham system. Depending on how many you give to Cupel and when you give it to Cupel, his abilities and like what he can transform into changes, actually. So if you feed him all at once, it's different than feeding maybe half and then another half later. That's actually really interesting and mildly disgusting. <laughs> just keep vomiting for me. So at this point, we don't wait for Rockham, so we're going to take a little break here. So now that we have the Harpoon Cannon, I, he feels we can stand a pretty good chance against this giant whale. Later that evening. He's talking out loud to himself. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. Vars! <laughs> Shut up, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Cupel just kind of comes up and stabs him. Stabs like boink. <laughs> Glass eye, bitch. Ow. <laughs> they decided to wander around the ship. <laughs> Shut up, I'm sleeping. Damn, I can't get any sleep. <laughs> Someone keeps talking. <laughs> <laughs> I could just sit there like every night. So we're gonna go out on the bridge here. Who's moping over there? Who's got a sad face? I was trying to make a campfire, but I didn't think it through. I was trying to make a campfire, but I made a lantern instead. <laughs> tried to make a campfire, and I realized the error of my ways. <laughs> it is too ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> he appears to be holding a box.
No. Just throws it off the ship. That's my little joke. <laughs> Full of feathers. Wow, dead birds. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, surprise now. That's what I'm saying. Oh, whatever. He was paying. Vice, I can't help but feel you're not paying attention. <laughs> we learn a lot about the backstory of Drachma here. His son's name was Jack. We used to call him Little Jack because he was too small. I still don't feel bad about Little Pink. <laughs> no. <laughs> they tried fighting Rockham when they saw him, and it destroyed his ship and caused him to lose his arm and his eye, and his crew, and his son. Oh, that that line always got me, where he's like he was holding feathers as he's falling, as if he was going to stop him from falling. I was like, oh. Ah, hit me in the heart. <laughs> right in the frills. So we're finding out his motivation for fighting for his son and fighting for his crew. So he basically just the, his last bit of revenge against this giant whale. This is probably one of the bigger reasons why Drachma is one of my favorite characters in this game, if not. Just because he has this nice, well-developed story and you can have, he's mean, but you can understand him. Oh, and guess who shows up right in time? Well, it's better than the kind of Ahab thing that it looks like at the start. Yeah, I mean, it still has kind of the feel of Ahab. But this motivation, definitely, you can sympathize a lot more with the character this time. Yeah. Now... The trick to finding Rockham at this point is that the closer you get to him, the more red the sky becomes and the louder his calls are. You can easily get lost if you don't know that. You can just fly around in circles like I'm doing now. So we're finding Rackham the blood whale. Got it. Yep. And I decide I'm leaving. See ya. <laughs> it's like, Eddie, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, fine. There's no fun. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Who installed that? So this guy's not the easiest guy to find, because he's actually kind of near this mountain ridge over here. Right up here. Excuse me. <laughs> That's my joke. <laughs> Stolen. <laughs> ah, there he is. For a second, I thought I had a mustache, and I was really excited. <laughs> <laughs> you just twist it. Mm. Windfish, you're back. I've stolen your style, Drachma. Wow. Yeah, he big. And he dead. Angry. Oh, shit. That's where the cannon fire was. So apparently, for whatever reason, the Armada's after him. Shot him right in the eye. Yikes. Like, they don't want to kill him, but he ate Alfonso. <laughs> they kind of have to. So we learn this is the ship of Ramirez, apparently the most dangerous man in all of the Armada. So, of course, we're meeting in third. Well, no, we met him before. He was, uh, he's vice captain to a uh, Galcian. Got the silver hair. Oh, yeah. And apparently, <laughs> Fiend's just like, oh, I don't know him. I'm just kidding. So, we want to kill Rockham. We don't want them to kill Rockham. So, we're going to destroy the ships first and then aim for Rockham. Use all of our resources first. Then we'll crash into it. It's a great plan. We're sharp. Worked for Harlock. <laughs> so we fight, uh, not a baby ship, but kind of a baby ship. 
Especially because they consider all the other ships we fought. How dare you, me? So I just, I just fast forward this shit. No one ever just, you know, looks at the giant harpoon and thinks that's going to kill us. <laughs> and the thing is, they this particular uh, country makes that harpoon. <laughs> so they should know. Hey, wait a second, I know that make. Run. <laughs> nah, keep firing, whatever. Also, you'd think they'd hear from the past two generals that a giant harpoon destroyed both their ships. <laughs> What's wrong with this country? <laughs> Communication ain't too good. They, they got metal ships, but whatever. So I'm just tagging aggressively. I don't have time for this shit. Also, the magic cannon does stupid damage on this one, too. Well, I mean, like, one of the generals is stuck in a desert somewhere. The other one's insane. Wow. Yeah, good point. The other's a boat. <laughs> and that's over. It did, like, 17,000 damage. <laughs> And Shredder Bomb sounds awesome. Da, 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 guess we won. Oh no, he's hurting. He's dying. Oh no. We're gonna kill him with this shot. Yeah, he's dead. Wait. That's not a great idea. Oh. Never mind then. Not a great idea. I thought of it for the other reason. Yeah, that we can't dodge? Yeah, that's true. Oh no, the little jack's on fire! Captain, your Ahab showing we should probably go. <laughs> Please don't punch me for these comments. And he's going a little bit bonkers here. Kid, I'm 90. <laughs> the arm's keeping me alive, you see. Revolver Ocelot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Arg! That's a pirate sound. So we're leaving the little jack because it's going down. Go to that one room that we've never been to before. Ah, nice and toasty, though. Now oh, we finally got heated insulation. This is great. Now I can finally sleep. <laughs> Vice! <laughs> Vice! <laughs> I go to the wrong room. Of course you do. No, no, wait, I don't. That's the right room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, of course you do. Yeah, of course you do. I didn't I totally meant that. Right, see, this is the lifeboat. Look, you know my stick. I'm coming back. <laughs> oh, no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. What'd he say? Get over? He said get moving. Oh. Yep. Which is weird because it's like... I don't think he's ever said anything else. Was that a wink? Or did you blink? No. Cap? No. No, Captain. His situation's a little dire. And Ramirez, being the dick he is, starts firing cannon shots at lifeboats. They really just like want to make this country so evil. <laughs> no survivors. No chance. That's what you've got. Use the 16-pound guns, and I don't mean Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. Shit! Vice is found! Ah, lucky figure. And you know what? Stuff Gordo in one, too. <laughs> ah, lucky fish. See, I got you doing it. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm on fire. <laughs>
I'm just going to say now, this part doesn't make a lot of sense. I found the one body of water in the ocean. Whoa. Awesome. <laughs> oh my, drink. <laughs> New discovery, body of water. <laughs> it was salty. It crosses out salty water. So we've been separated and we're all split up now and I'm kind of by myself. It means no one will keep me awake except for me. So now everyone's left my party. Appears to be a mysterious island. Let's drive the ship. Oh. Did the lifeboat even, like, do anything? I'm pretty sure it was just falling anyways. So you're going to find out, like, this is a mysterious island. We don't know too much about it, but um, we're going to find out that the location doesn't make sense with what just happened there. But whatever, it's it's video game. Are we back in the Green Nation? No, we're not. That'd make even less sense. Oh, from a distance, it looked like some woman reclining like, what's up? <gasps> Ika! <laughs> you lost too much weight. Oh no, I'm boned! It looks like he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> God, you're right. Oh yeah. Hey, Gonzalez. No, no, never mind. We found something in Gonzalez's pocket. A safe assumption that anyone that has kind of a more of a Spanish name is probably from the Blue and Empire. I found half a map. Awesome. And it's not even for where we are. Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> I was going to say, Vice has a really low attention span. <laughs> I'll give you a proper burial. I need to get the high ground. Hey, map! <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> hey, he's dead. He can wait. God, it's like it's a child. <laughs> I mean, I guess he is, but still. He's supposed to be 17, okay? So there's no excuse. Damn, if only this game had draw distance. Uh, see if they gave a next gen one, they totally would. Make a new one, Sega. Ask Nintendo. Please. Sega's basically their sock puppet now. Nintendo, please. Nintendo, please. Yeah, it looks like Mario's face. It looks like Gordo took a bite out of a moon. Let me wait to zoom in. Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> You didn't do shit, Vice. I was gonna say. You, you can... looked at him, you're like, done. <laughs> He's buried in my mind. Vice just kind of like puts a handful of dirt on him. Well, I'm done. He's buried in my mind. I forgot about him. <laughs> it's a sentiment that counts. If you worked at it and you knew it, clap your hands. <coughs> Dust. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm leaving as the storm's coming. Screw it. He'll be buried by the storm. And someone left a moonberry chest here. Hey, who did this? To think if he only moved a couple extra feet, Gonzalez could have survived a little bit longer. Just by eating the moonberry, exactly. And he's clearly here a while. If he had turned left, he would have survived a little longer. <laughs> ah, but I'm comfortable here. Might as well set up camp here on this already bed. Might as well sit up camp. I'm done. <laughs> this reminds me of when I slept in a cave in uh, in Oblivion, and I was stupid because I slept right on top of a skeleton, and then the next morning I woke up a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, go figure, I slept on top of the skeleton, something bad would happen. Meanwhile, with Ika and Fina... This got strange. <laughs> they fell into wacky land. <laughs> they fell into the honeybee inn. I like the animation they did with uh, Ika's hair when it's not in the pigtails. Like, he can understand why she does it because her hair is obnoxious. <laughs> Just blah. Ika, for clarification, we passed out in a lifeboat, right? <laughs> That's what happened last night. 
This is my Dracula impression. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, hello? Suddenly, cowboys in the sky. Cowgirls. <laughs> we travel 200 years in the future, y'all. I didn't ask. <laughs> I kind of like the idea where it's like, ah, oh, she seems sweet. My name's Aka. Good, because I'm robbing you. Oh. <laughs> So the ship was just floating around with him unconscious in it. She says that, but it probably just embedded itself into her bow. <laughs> I love them both are awkward. That is the appropriate response, Ika. Yep. <laughs> You're both air pirates. Oh. Whoa. Can't be a pirate. Luckily, they landed with a blue rogue. So, Vice landed on a deserted island with skeletons, and she lands onto a ship with allies. That seems fair. Talk about your crushes, OMG. Because, <laughs> 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 like, help. <laughs> <laughs> Gina's like, I guess we have to share them now. <laughs> I'm designed strangely high. <laughs> she looks like the pirates from that one fighter in Guilty Gear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mary? No, that's... No, no, no. That's King of Fighters. Are you ready? Um, you're thinking, uh, shoot. May, May. Yeah, close. One extra letter. Yeah. So we're landing in Nazrad. The capital of Nasher, which is like the largest city other than the one in Valua. And we get to hear this cool music again. So again, just remember, Vice is on a deserted island. They get dropped off and this girl hands him 5,000 gold and says, go to town. Wow. <laughs> they end up with a better deal there. I think Vice needs this. <laughs> he needs to soothe and learn to be humble. He needs to learn not to act like a jackass. We learn Claire's modifications that she's looking for a man that she's in love with. Wait. She's in love with an air pilot that I'm assuming is her ally. Hmm. Well, not on a ship with her. She's chasing her. It's the Stalker Pirate. And her ship is even covered in hearts. Come on. I was about to say, the hearts are cannons. <laughs> Fire my love at him. <laughs> that was the nicest Stalker I ever met. And suddenly the game gets a little darker. <laughs> <laughs> now that guy's the meanest Stalker I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> So we're giving Claire's purse. That's five minutes. So now we get to play as Ica for a little while. Hey. Gives us a chance to explore Nazrad. We'll probably be coming back later here because there's a lot of stuff to explore here. It's a big city. We get a chance to look around. This port's much bigger than it was at Maramba. Plus, the, if you anything about Nazir, the big thing about Nazir, it's the world's largest trade hub. So pretty much every merchant comes to the city at some point. So there's a lot of money going through Nazir. Look at that 2D image. <laughs> That's a JPEG. Walk towards the JPEG. Keep in mind, this game came out on the Dreamcast first. Oh, I know. It's like reverse Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yep. Ah! See, these people that are in part of Nazir, you kind of learn quickly that they, they they assume nothing will ever go wrong for them. It's like, we live in the best kingdom ever. No one will bother to attack us. We have the strongest army. But we already learned that Veloa plans to invade Nazir and Nazrad, so they should be a little more worried. There's a lot of shopping. Look, there's a picture of Vice up there. You can see him. Oh, yeah. Huh. 
The problem here is that we could use all these really cool shops, but we, all we have is the 5,000 gold. We don't have any good money. So much pink. A little pink. A lot of pink. See, this is a weird thing. It says, I don't see Vice up here. You can see him right there. <laughs> nah, that crappy drawing's not Vice. Couldn't be. Someone write poop face on this thing. Children. <laughs> Vice doesn't have a mustache. What are they doing? <laughs> Wish he did. V1 Ice is H A W T. <laughs> this guy's just like, oh, look, this boy, girl, this, you know, had pretty girls in this bar, but sucks. Who? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the weird. That was the weirdest set of animations ever. He just turns around and goes, ooh. So up there is going to be the main. Uh, oh, what's this guy doing? I love this guy's animation too. That is the look of someone who had way too much curry. <laughs> that is the dialogue of someone who has way too much curry. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Rangers. But yeah, there's a lot of good shops around here. We're definitely gonna come back here later to uh, buy a bunch of crap. Right now we don't have the money to do it, despite us giving us 5,000 gold, but it'd be so wasteful. I'm gonna buy a weapon I can't use. Is this one of those RPG markets where they taunt you with like the most expensive things ever and you don't come back here until like disc two? Oh, not yet, nothing like that. Okay. They got a serious vine problem. It's all natural. It's culture, Thorn. It's vine culture. Yes. I'm going here through this art building, which apparently has a artist in it. Just look at all that. <laughs> art is dead. Oh, it's... Nothing we can find up here. I'm, I'm just kind of bullshitting around exploring Nazareth a little bit, because I don't need to be doing this. I can't really even do anything with it anyway. What we need to do is just find a place to sleep, and the streets don't count. Maybe we slept on the street that steal our gold, so that sucked. And then we meet the most kind innkeeper ever. For safe. Censor. <laughs> Censor gets his <it's> dirty. <laughs> Nasty. She's just like, yeah, it's 240 gold nine. It's just like, we don't have any extra money. Eh. He's like, he can sleep here for free, and I'm just like, what? I wish I could just go to a hotel and be like, I'll just pay you back eventually. This is the best service ever. <laughs> go to this, the room at the end of the hallway, get there, it's a utility closet. That's what you deserve, you penniless. <laughs> <laughs> so our plan is to see if we can make some, or at least their plan is to make some money so they can buy a ship so they can find base. <laughs> Head butts her. <laughs> yep. Right in her face. <laughs> Flies out the window. <laughs> I'll give this for uh, Aika. I, it's hard not to like her because she's just so positive all the time. Oh, I was hoping she just immediately went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so they're wondering. She's also the best character in Valkyrie Chronicles, so I like her a lot. That's what I've heard. Both of, I hear both Vice and Aika are good. They, like, work well together, so you're just like, I'm gonna use these two and never stop. So, like, here's the divide between what's going on well. So we just saw, they're, like, in their hotel room going, I wonder if Vice is looking at that moon. I guess there's, like, seven moons. But hey, it's the red moon. It is the same moon. Oh. Uh, this is the pits. <laughs> I made sand angels, now I'm bored. <laughs> I burned Gonzalez for this fire. So next time we're gonna try to reunite the crew together somehow. I made sand angels, none of them would take my prayers. <laughs> sand angel? Now nah, give me shit. Fuck this is still the broken one. You're not fixing my problem here. Work with me. <laughs> You're gonna find vice in that entire island is just deforested. 
<laughs> They're gonna get there, and he's just laying next to the skeleton in the same pose. What are you doing? I buried him. <laughs> what are you doing, Vice? Trying to understand. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm the little spoon. <laughs> but I wonder what happened to Drachma. He kind of disappeared in a burning ship of death. He's gonna come back and he's gonna have the harpoon gun attached to his arm. That'd be the coolest thing ever. Hey, Vice, I'm back. <laughs> After kicking down the door. Well, I couldn't find my arm. Get over here, kid. Still rocket propelled. Tries to punch him. He just throws this Gonzalez skeleton in front of him. Ah, that's sacrilegious. <laughs> It makes the same expression that Travis's current Skype icon's making. <laughs> Speaking of Ty Wayne, can you, like, take a screen cap of my and Travis's icons in Skype? Sure, why not? Hang on. Are they staring at each other at your position? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. They just have this look of, oh, God, he's here. <laughs> I just like to think my icon is doing something and Travis is reacting in horror. Because in mind, he's about to press a button. Mine knows what's going to happen. That's the button that replaces everything with Bomberman. <laughs> do do now you've done it. Do 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 do. Okay. 